A controversial project breaks ground today in California, the bullet train. It was approved by voters in that state two years ago. But the project is already way behind schedule and is expected to cost taxpayers $68 billion, whether you live in California or not. William Lajeunesse joins us live from Los Angeles with more. William. John, why should viewers care about the Golden State boondoggle? Because everyone is going to pay for this billions in federal dollars. How much? Well, here are the three largest infrastructure projects currently underway in the U.S. A Seattle tunnel, $3 billion. A railroad to Dulles Airport, $6 billion. Expanding O'Hare Airport, $9 billion. Peanuts compared to the bullet train at $68 billion. Now, President Obama okayed federal money for the project years ago. But today, 60% of voters oppose it. Why? The projected costs double. Construction is two years behind schedule. Completion date, 13 years later than promised. And high speed, it is not. L.A. to San Francisco in two hours and 40 minutes, voters were told. After track and route changes, experts now say it's over four hours. But Governor Jerry Brown, seeing 20,000 new jobs, remains undaunted and breaks ground today in Fresno on the train. The legacy of, of, of the Brown family is that they have been big thinkers, uh, but also big builders. And I think there's, this is an opportunity for the legislature to step up, uh, support Governor Brown. Environmental opponents say the project destroys habitat. Taxpayer watchdogs say it's a black hole that will suck money from highways and require massive operational subsidies. We're talking about real money here. Uh, these, the, this is money that's not available for health care or for education or for uh, public safety or perhaps to put back in taxpayers' pockets so they have something to spend. This is money being drawn out of the system for a program that is going to serve very few people. California is going to spend $4 million a day, every day, for the next three years to get this off the ground, John. But it remains billions short of what is needed. Backers hope once you get started, opponents will be able, can't derail it. Congressional Republicans say no more money, but history suggests we will be on the hook for years to come. Back to you. What a story. William Lajeunesse, thanks.